This lesson is part of a course at Programming Electronics Academy. If you'd like to get access to the full course and all the materials related to this training, check out Programming Electronics Academy, where you can get access to all of these lessons and all of the coursework we offer. I hope you find this extremely helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Hi, I hope you're doing well. So have you ever got really excited about a project, maybe designed out its function, possibly written some basic code for it? Maybe you even went as far as thinking about the enclosure that the project would fit in. But what you failed to think about in retrospect is how you were planning to power the project. Or maybe you did kind of consider it, but it was more of an afterthought to the quote unquote real design. The point that I wanna drive home is that how you're gonna power your project is vitally important. It's important to first understand and then follow some proper guidelines in powering your project. What we're gonna do is start with different ways that you can power an Arduino board. These are gonna generalize across all different types of Arduino boards, and in some cases, many non-Arduino boards. There's three recommended ways that we're gonna talk about. First, using the VN pin, using the DC jack, and using the USB port. We'll be examining these three methods in more detail in this incoming lessons. But first, what I'd like to do is step back and give us an overview of how we can represent these methods. One of the best ways to get a big picture overview of how power is provided to an Arduino board is to look at the Arduino board's schematic. Now, if this schematic diagram intimidates you, don't worry. It's just a matter of getting yourself familiar to reading schematics, and before you know it, you'll be comfortable with it. If you'd like to learn more about how to read schematics, check out the series we've done in the Training Academy. So this is just the power section of the Arduino Uno Rev3 schematic. And I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel super user-friendly when we wanna talk about some big picture ideas of how we're gonna power the board. But it does show which components are involved and how they're used to implement those three different ways of supplying power to the board. To simplify things a little bit further and to provide a clearer understanding of this schematic, we're gonna present a block diagram of the schematic. With this block diagram, we don't have to dwell on the detailed operation of each component, but only on the main functional blocks of the power circuit. We're gonna be referring to this block diagram quite a bit, so it doesn't hurt to get familiar with it. On the left-hand side, you can see those three different methods for powering this Arduino Uno board the VN pin, the DC jack, and the USB port. There's also some components on here that we're going to do a deep dive in to explain their significance. It's gonna be important to understand these components if you're gonna understand these three different methods for supplying power. So we're gonna talk about voltage regulators, diodes, P-channel MOSFET switches, and USB line fuses. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you want to learn more about all this Arduino programming stuff, make sure to check out our training program at programmingelectronics.com. I would love if you could like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take it easy and I'll see you soon.